Broadcast weekly over this station are dramatized from the full-color action pictures to be found in the Comic Weekly, the world's greatest comic supplement that comes to you each week with your Hearst Sunday newspaper. Join the 11 million adults and the 6 million youngsters who enjoy the world's best artists featured in every issue of the Comic Weekly, which comes to you with your Hearst Sunday newspaper. Jim and his party, consisting of Shanghai Lil, Kitty, and Kolo, finally make good their escape from Thorson's castle, leaving Bull Thorson himself tied up like a sack of wheat. Lil, posing as a member of Thorson's gang while really working for the FBI, gave orders that Thorson was not to be disturbed, so they have at least 24 hours to find their way to Captain Kennedy's schooner. But it's too carefully guarded by land, so Jim finds them a hiding place in the jungle and strikes out by sea for the ship miles down the coast. In the meantime, while some of Thorsten's guards are suspicious of his non-appearance, none can work up enough nerve to investigate because it's against orders. And we find Shanghai Lil, Kolo, and Kitty in the jungle rendezvous, anxiously waiting word from Jim. Well, Kolo, how's the shoulder? It'd be fine, Missy Lil. Nearly all better. You good nurse. <laughs> it might feel okay, but that bullet's in there yet. I wish we had some way of getting it out. It not bother Kolu. Someday it come out by himself. It have to before. Where's Kitty staying so long? She go to fill canteen with water. You know, I don't think that dame will ever amount to anything. And the way she yeses Jim makes me sick. Mm, be too bad there not be two Twan Jim. Then there be enough to go around. What do you mean two of Jim? One is enough. There can never be another like him. Yes, Missy Lil, but Kolu see two nice girl. Missy Lil, Missy Kitty. Only one Tuan Jim. You understand? Yeah. <laughs> I understand all right. But what he can see in that rattled brain is beyond me. Why, he never even wanted her on this job in the first place. She stowed away, you know that. Kolu know he was there. But Kolu also knows she saved Tuan Jim's life at Panama Canal. That be something Tuan Jim and Kolo cannot forget. Ah, oh, fiddlesticks. No, Missy Lil, she brave woman. Huh? But she not able to talk like you. Oh, the strong, silent type. <laughs> I get it. Well, so far as I'm concerned, when we get back to civilization, Jim can choose one or the other. There's no job big enough or important enough for both of us. And that's that. Maybe, Missy Lil, when you have good night's sleep... You feel better. I feel fine. The only thing that'll make me feel better is an idea of when Jim's going to return. Kolu not know, but by now, Tuan Jim must be at Captain Kennedy's boat. He should leave right soon. Be only a few hours sail to Cove where we meet. You sure this is the place Jim meant for us to wait? Yes, Miss Evil. Kolu know this place. And Captain Kennedy, he know too. Ah. Oh, it must be Kitty now. Quiet. Maybe better make no noise, be sure. Oh, that's her, all right. Big mouth, as usual. Shh, over here, Missy Kitty. Oh, hello, now. Quiet. Here's the water, Kolo. I found the spring just where you described the place, but I almost lost my way getting back. What do you expect to find in a place like this? Traffic lights and road markers? Not exactly. But is it too much to expect a civil answer once in a while just to see what it sounds like? Why, oh, Lil, why don't we sort of declare a truce, at least for the duration? I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, I think you do. In fact, I know you do. But if you're willing to let bygones be bygones, I'd certainly be happy to. After all, we're all in the same fix. I'm sure it would make Jim happier, too. If, if you really thought about Jim's happiness, to say nothing of his safety, you'd not even be here. But I'm not going to hold a grudge for that. All right. If you're willing, I'll shake and sort of see if we can start all over again. I'll try to do my part. Oh, I'd be delighted, Lil. And I'm genuinely grateful, too. Shake. Sure. Well, how about turning in for the night? We'll need all the rest we can get. Okay. Well, I'd give anything just to be able to light a fire. <laughs> what an advertisement that would be. Oh, I know we can't risk it, but just think what fun it would be. Yeah, I'd like it, too, but where's Kolu? He didn't say he was going anywhere. Yeah, he was here when I came back with the water. Well, he's not in sight now. Well, let's call him. No, I wouldn't if I were Well, maybe you. he needs us. Listen, we need him. I feel safer when he's around. Well, there's one way to find out. Call 
Quiet, quiet. They'll hear you at the other end of the island. Quiet, Missy. Well, we thought you were... You make too much noise. That's what I told her, Cole. Keep still. There'll be one guard on beach I watched for a long time. He was ready to go away when you called. Now he start for here. Oh, I didn't know. She I... never knows anything, Cole. We have to keep him here. If he go back, many guards come with him. And that more trouble for Tuan Jim. We don't dare shoot a gun. No, no, that'd be bad, too. Yeah. You call again, Missy Kitty. Same way. Stay right here. You sure you want me to? Yes, be quick. Call Call This be only way, Missy Lil. You go behind tree, take gun. Yeah. You stay here, Missy Kitty. Uh... Let him see you. I go up tree. Understand? Not exactly, but I'll do it. Very good. You go, Missy Lil. Sure. Who be you? Help. Help. Tie up, Missy Lil. You tie feet. You get handkerchief to make gag. Here you are. I'll keep his mouth shut. Now, don't you try to bite me. I've handled worse dogs than you and my son. Can I help? Don't you think you've helped enough already? Thank you, Missy Kitty. If you not make noise, maybe we not have capture guard. Well, can I do anything now? Please, remember when hiding in bush, the last animal to be caught is one who cannot make sound. All right, Colo. I'll never forget it. Look, I've had my Girl Scout sessions, too. What are we going to do with this guard? His capture means a 24-hour tour of guard duty for us from now on. Mm. Kolo will take 12 hours. You girls maybe will take six each. Okay. It'll be easier for us all around if we take it in three-hour sessions. Yes, Missy Lil. Now you and Missy Kitty must go to sleep. Kolo stay on guard. Oh, Kolo. Kolo, you shouldn't have done it. Now look at you. What, Missy Lil? In the tussle with that guard, you've opened up that wound again. Oh, it not be nothing. No, but it's enough for you to go take a nap first after I've dressed it again. I'll stand on guard. All right, Missy Lil. While his three friends are seemingly hidden from pursuit in the jungle on Thorson's Island, Jim labors down the coastline, swimming every stroke with his powerful arms bringing him nearer to Kennedy's vessel. But the lack of rest, no sleep for two days, is beginning to tell on Jim, who's tiring rapidly. Oh, seems like a journey that will never end. You must be slipping, Jim. Of course, no sleep for two days. Must be getting old. Can't take it anymore. Suppose I'll have to roll over and float more often. Golly, I'm right near the mouth of the harbor. Home stretch. Now it should be a cinch. Uh, I don't see why the old man keeps up a full watch all night long, too. Captain Kennedy's been trading these islands for nine to thirty years now. If he thinks we need a full watch, we need it, and that's all. Yeah, I suppose so, but watch or no, I'd darn sight rather be asleep in my bed than here wasting time doing nothing, getting nowhere. Ain't there enough guards around our ship now? Maybe that's what the captain said the watch yeah, for. Yeah, I suppose that thieving-looking band of cutthroats would steal the gear off the deck if it weren't up and about spry-like. You hear something, Joe? Yeah, I just heard the ship's bell. I hear the bugs singing. It's so dang hot you can hear the heat coming up out of the planks. No, none of them things. I mean overside, out there. Well, what is it? I don't know. Sounded regular like. Could be somebody swimming. Ah, uh, probably fish slapping the water. No, no, it's too regular. Well, I don't hear nothing. My hearing's as good as yours. Quiet a moment. What? Huh? You hear that? Yes. I wish I hadn't. Someone's out there. That's not human. It's a ghost voice, I tell you. One of them sea sirens. Don't fuss with it. Well, I've never seen a ghost that could talk. Might be interesting to hear what it would have to say. You're crazy, Bill, to pay any attention to it. That's someone in trouble. I'm going to find out. Now, come back here, you crazy loon. You ain't got the sense you was born with. Come back and say, man overboard. Hey, Bill. Stop your yelling. I got him. Throw me a rope. Huh? Who you got? Don't go bringing no ghosts aboard here, or I'll jump overboard. Throw me a line or I'll bust a belaying pin over your thick head. You ain't got... Well, all right. But no good will come of this. Just you wait and see. Sea sirens and ghosts, my... What a voyage. Wait a minute. There's your line. 
right. I'll slip a hitch under his arms and you have him aboard. It's no ghost. That fella Jim Bradley. Glory be. What do you suppose what do you suppose he was doing out there? Huh? Where'd he come from? Haul him up and you can ask him. All right. Over me, hearty. You always were a queer one, swimming in water when there's sharks and such things. All right, now throw me that line, will you? You down there yet? All right, here's the line. Hey, Joe. Hey, you. Now what's your belly aching about? Throw me another line. I did throw you one. What'd you do with it? I couldn't do nothing with it. Hold on to one end of the next one you throw, will you? Oh, well, glory be. He must have slipped off. That's what it did. It slipped off. Well, here's another one. Yeah. Oh. Hey there. How are you feeling? Oh, I'll be all right. Get me Captain Kennedy. Yeah, certainly. I'll have him roused in the jiffy. Can I get you something? Yes, something hot if you can, will you? Yeah, yeah. Maybe you can find something even better. Be back in the jiffy. Oh. Hello there. How you feeling? Oh, be all right in a few minutes. All I need is a rest. Did you put me out? Well... Joe and me did. I just carried the line out and tied you up. He pulled your board. Oh, thanks. I was almost done in. How'd you come to be out in the water, sir? Oh, it's a long story, and I want to tell it to Captain Kennedy first, if you don't mind. Yeah, certainly not, sir. Is Joe going for him? Yes, I think so. Yeah, he must have. Here he comes. Oh. What kind of a story is this? I hardly believe my... What? Jim Bradley. It is you. In the flesh, Captain. It's not in the pink. Yeah, man, is what you need. Here, here. Drink hearty. Oh. Five thanks. Now you need some rest, Jim. Hey, Captain, we have no time for rest or anything else. In fact, we, we haven't a moment to lose. Look, I'm still master aboard this vessel. You'll take orders like everybody else. You're going to bed. Captain, listen, I can't go to bed. You've got to, man. You're all done in. Oh, like blazes I am. Now listen for a second. I've tied up Thorson. He's a prisoner in the library of the castle. Kolo was with me. He was wounded. But he's recovering fast. Shanghai Lil and Kitty and Kolo are hidden in the bush about ten miles north of here in the first big cove. Good Lord, man. That's a lot of news. Yes, and we've got to get moving to pick up Kolo and the girls before Thorson's guards get there. Then it may be too late. Can Captain Kennedy and his schooner reach the friends of Jungle Jim in time? Don't miss the next exciting episode in the adventures of Jungle Jim. Remember, you can follow these adventures in the full-color action pictures to be found in the Comic Weekly, the world's greatest comic supplement containing the best full-color adventure and comic pictures. Remember, no other comic supplement can give you the top names of cartoon land like the all-star favorites to be found in the Comic Weekly. The whole family follows the fun and frolics of Jiggs and Maggie, the Little King, and the immortal Donald Duck, as well as the exciting adventures of Jungle Jim and Flash Gordon. Join the 11 million adults and the 6 million youngsters who every week find the greatest of home entertainment in the Comic Weekly, which comes to you with your Hearst Sunday newspaper. Music